The second protocol that we are going to use is the one that we traditionally use looking for someone who's short of breath or in whom we may suspect pulmonary edema. This is known as the eight zone protocol or more popularly described as Vopicelli's protocol. In this lung imaging protocol, we are going to draw two imaginary lines. The first along the anterior axillary line and the second just above the nipple all the way over laterally. These two intersecting lines will essentially make four zones on each side of the chest. Zone one will be the anterior superior zone. Zone two will be the anterior inferior zone. Zone three will be the lateral superior zone and zone four will be the lateral inferior zone. We will again repeat that same protocol, those four different zones on the left side of the chest. Again, we're going to draw an imaginary line along the anterior axillary line and then again just above the nipple to create those four zones. When scanning using the eight zone method when performing a lung ultrasound, again, we're going to divide the chest into eight zones or four zones on each side of the chest. We're going to start on the right side in zone one, which is the anterior superior zone. Our machine is going to need to have a depth setting between 12 and 16 centimeters, and we're going to put the probe on the chest wall and move the transducer throughout zone one, looking for any evidence of B lines. Next, we're going to move into zone two. That is going to be the anterior inferior zone, and again, we're going to move the transducer throughout that zone, looking for any evidence of B lines. Next, we'll move into zone three, the lateral superior zone. We're going to place the transducer on the chest wall and move the transducer throughout, again, looking for any evidence of B lines. Finally, we're going to look in zone four, which is the lateral inferior zone. We're going to move the transducer throughout that zone, looking for any B lines that may be present. Next, we'll move over onto the left chest. Again, we'll start in the anterior superior zone, moving the transducer around this area, looking for any evidence of B lines. Finally, we'll move into the anterior inferior zone. And generally, in this zone, we may need to move the transducer around quite a bit to get around the heart. Next, we'll move into the anterior lateral zone on the left chest. Again, moving the transducer all the way throughout, looking for any evidence of B lines. And then our final view will be zone four of the left chest, which is going to be the lateral inferior zone, where we'll move the transducer around, looking for any evidence of beelines.